When the cold winds of winter retreat, Valika is rebirthed in spring. You emerge from your village like flowers pushing up through the snow. In summer, you raid, stealing glory and gains from richer lands so that you might survive another year. And when you return home in autumn, you will be greeted with fire, hot coals to warm your mead, or tongues of flame to consume your pyre. But it is in the enveloping darkness of winter you will be truly tested. The season of death and monsters. Welcome to the Valican Clans. My name is Ben Byrne, and over the next few minutes, I want to take you on a journey into the frozen north of Etheris. I am thrilled to be the one to get to present this project because Ghostfire Gaming's latest 5e Kickstarter comprises not one, but two entirely new supplement books. The Raider's Guide to Valica features new character options, new clan and raiding mechanics, and deep lore about one of Etheris's most most dangerous realms. And the Saga of Seasons is a new adventure module placing you in charge of telling the story of your very own Valakan clan. So get cozy by the log fire and allow me to introduce you to the next 5e Kickstarter from Ghostfire Gaming, Grim Hollow Valakan Clans. Within Valica, a strong sense of shared purpose and camaraderie matters far more to a clan than any individual racial heritage. At the start of character creation, you may decide upon your starting skills and abilities by choosing which of the six major clans you originate from instead of choosing a lineage. You will choose a total of eight traits for your character, kind of like a tech tree, many of which will be influenced by the culture of your starting clan. Will you hold old arcane secrets which are known only to the members of Clan Rune, or be a great ironsmith from the forges of Clan Seer. You may choose physical traits such as a breath weapon or webbed hands for a swimming speed if you wish, so you can still build a Dragonborn or a Laneshi, but this is your Laneshi, unique to Valica and your clan. The new subclasses featured in Raider's Guide to Valica are also distinct to the clans, and we're introducing a new type of subclass with new features called Martial Maneuvers. These maneuvers provide spellcasters the stopping power they need to fight shoulder to shoulder with their clans folk, while the Martial classes gain skills that increase their strategic flexibility. The maneuvers are broken into martial traditions called sagas, and your character chooses which saga they will learn their martial maneuvers from as they level up. You can even learn maneuvers from other sagas if you find a master during the campaign willing to teach you, allowing you further customization to your character as the story unfolds. There is even more player content packed into Raider's Guide to Valica that includes new weapons and new equipment to survive the freezing cold and an advanced background. You can explore all of it on the Kickstarter page to dive into for more details. There you'll also see that there are the different pledge tiers which include the Valican Players Journal and the Martial Maneuvers card deck, making it easy to consolidate the new player options into your 5e game. But there is one secret for players that I'm going to hold on to until the end of this video. Raider's Guide to Valica is filled with lore to inspire both players and GMs who are setting their campaign in the frozen north of Etheris. This includes information about the cultures of the major clans in Valica, which have only been touched on in previous Grim Hollow releases. We'll reveal more about important locations and characters, some of whom were entirely unknown before. But for GMs who want a complete tale to tell with their players already provided, we have the second ever Grim Hollow adventure module, Saga of the Seasons. Saga of the Seasons is the story you will write about the history of your Valakan clan. You and your party are members of Clan Ragval. 
the youngest currently in Valica, and you will decide its fate. Your saga starts in spring and will play out over the course of a year. In spring, you will gather resources by adventuring in your homeland, preparing Clan Ragval for summer. In summer, you will raid, sailing to other lands, taking riches and glory from the undeserving and the corrupt. In autumn, you will return home to celebrate your victories and mourn your losses. But you must be ready for when the darkness of winter sets in. This adventure takes your characters from third level to ninth. It is your year living as a Valakan Raider. Together, you will weave a personal and mythical saga for Clan Ragval, one that will be told for generations, however it may end. We're this far into the video and I still haven't spoken about one of Raider's Guide to Valica's biggest new features. The raiding. Raiding is often a reality for survival for the Valakan clans and is carried out in summer when the rivers thaw, allowing access for the longships. The raiding mechanics provide a new strategic experience as you and your party command your fellow raiders how to overrun settlements. Will you spread out and try to claim the most resources as your foes flee at the sight of you? Or will you focus your clan's strength on the village's stronghold where the greatest riches may be kept? The raiding mechanics are strategically challenging and engaging, but simple for the GM to implement and players to learn. They're like a new type of combat encounter that integrates seamlessly into your campaign. They can be played in a narrative way or a more strategic way, whether you want to use all of the mechanical rules or not. You actually don't have to use the raiding rules if you would prefer to run a raid more like a dungeon crawl and the village is the dungeon through which you're crawling. We do have a gameplay video coming soon to fully demonstrate the raiding mechanics. So even if you haven't pledged yet, make sure to follow the Kickstarter so you don't miss out on that. If you are excited to start your own saga, make sure to check out the full Kickstarter page where you can find more detail and see all the pledge tiers. The special edition GM screen is to die for, something I really can't wait to get my hands on, as well as a new fabric map devoted to Valica to chart your raids and your adventures. And of course, I did promise one more thing at the end of this video. Kept inside Raider's Guide to Valica is the eldritch knowledge of two new Grim Hollow transformations. Those that appear in the dreams of sleeping Gormadraug's consciousness may find themselves changed by the draconic worm transformation. It can also take titanic strength to survive in Valica, which you may seize for yourself as you grow with the giant transformation. 